was trolling Craigslist and I found a good deal on a car that I've kind of secretly always wanted. And let me preface this with, I drive about 300 miles a week on average in the IS, uh, the daily, the non-turbo IS gets like 20 miles to the gallon. So I'm spending like 40 bucks a week on gas. I think that what I got myself today was a great investment. Uh, all in total, I paid $300 for the car and it cost me another 110 to get it towed home, about 40 miles. So I'm $410 into this Prius as of, oh shit, I just gave it away. Well, there it is. I got a first generation 2003 Prius and uh, it does need some work. It's high mileage. Again, I got it for a couple hundred bucks. So if I have to, I can part it and make my money back. It needs a window. It's got about 220,000 miles on it. And the battery uh, is having an issue. So it doesn't even come with a 12 volt battery, but the hybrid battery also has an issue. I plugged it into a jump box and I was able to scan the car for codes before I bought it. And it threw code P3030. I Googled that code and it's a bad connection in the battery somewhere. So the battery might actually not even have any bad cells or anything. It might just have a broken wire going from one cell to the other or something like that. So in the next couple of days, maybe a week or two, I'm gonna start tearing this thing apart and getting it to run. But I'm excited to see if we can make it hit break 50 miles to the gallon because that would literally cut my fuel costs in more than half. So there she is. Uh, let's go into her a little bit more. First things first, it's clearly got front end damage. It doesn't look to be too bad, but this bumper is um, broken. So it's going to need to, I might just see if I can pop that out and roll with it. But we'll be doing some body work. Next thing, I'm going to have to find a junkyard glass for this door because it's broken. Um, it was all shattered when I bought the car. By the time it got towed home, the glass fell through. So the back seats are here. They're just, they've clearly tried to work on this battery before. And my hope is that they don't, the, what, what the original owner told me is that they had a company, oh, there goes the glass into the door. They had a company come out and look at the car and basically troubleshoot the battery and they told them the battery was bad and it needed to be replaced. I'm hoping that they just didn't want to mess with rebuilding it and I'll be able to rebuild it myself. I got this sweet keychain. Let's pop the trunk. The trunk is hit back here too and the trunk is definitely dented. Looks like she backed into something or someone re-rented her or something. But a uh, back bumper is totally fucked. We're not going to be able to fix that because it's like literally broken. So probably get a junkyard one or something if I can. But the trunk, while it's dented and everything, still opens and closes perfectly fine. So it's not too broken. Um, let's see, this is where the 12 volt battery goes. Now, notice it's got like the small connectors. I guess the Prius ones use like JDM connectors instead of regular battery connectors. So the battery is a specific battery I have to get for it. So that's gonna be my first step is to get that battery so I can actually run the ECU and everything else so I can read, uh, you know, do some more troubleshooting and whatnot. And then we'll be tearing apart this big old hybrid battery to see what it looks like. So there's going to be quite a bit of content coming up with this car. I've never had a hybrid before or worked on one and I'm excited to learn about them. I think that it's going to be a good learning curve and there's not much on YouTube as far as, you know, working on hybrids and whatnot. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too expensive to fix. If it is worst case, I can still buy a new refurbished battery from Toyota and still have a running car for not that much money. But let's see what else is in here. Bunch of crap. Oh, it looks like there's a full-size spare. Donut. Definitely not full-size. Dang, that color though. Maybe we should paint all the wheels that color. What else is over here? Uh, tow hook because race car. Looks like some battery terminals. Who knows? I'm gonna take, tear apart this car. The interior is filthy. We're gonna need to detail all of that. Oh, let's see here. Ugly ass dash, ugly ass shifter. But it's got a disc changer. I'm excited to see if it even works. I know this screen turns on at least, and so does the other one. But whether they work or not, or read accurately, we don't know. Probably gonna keep this sweet ass zebra print. 
No, definitely not. What's in here? Oh, came up on a watch though. Decent. Probably not gonna do anything with that. Girlfriend will definitely not want it. And some shitty perfume. It's a Prius. There's nothing special about it. Let's see what's in here. Got some hair ties. It's definitely female driven. Oh, with some glasses. And a house key. A sweet house key. It's like blinking. That's weird. Bunch of makeup, some cassettes, lotion, a flashlight, some hardcore bracelets, um, probably a tampon or pregnancy test or something gross, and drug baggie? No. Some, is that, that might be like a, a belly button ring or something. Who knows. Anyway, let's see. We got some drugs in here. You know, everyone keeps their drugs in this. Oh no, we got, oh shit, an SD card. Wonder what's on there. And some rings and shit. Well, that's not that exciting. But I'm gonna pull all these seats out and tear this whole car apart. I'll have to blur that name out from the previous owner. Uh, let's see, an old paycheck, she was working at Wildflower Bread Company, making that good old eight seventy five dollars an hour. What is this? Oh, oh, please tell me this is a full stamp card. Oh, it's blank. I got really excited. What else is in here? Some nastiness. I don't want to dig in there. I'm just going to throw all this shit out. Okay. This is the Prius. Let's see what's uh what this bad boy's packing down here. There we go. Looks like a good old Toyota four cylinder. One and a half liter, I think, maybe 1.6. Um, doesn't look like anything's been messed with down here. I did check the oil. It's check out this oil. So it looks new, but not like brand new. So I'm hoping they didn't just like try to cover up a problem. But it's at the right level at least. And I know you're supposed to wipe it off. I've already done that. But uh, um, I'd like to you know detail this thing once it's up and running and get it running nice. Oh, damn, look at that. That's how you know you live in Arizona. Holy shit. <laughs> I wonder if it's alive. Oh god, it's definitely alive, and it's in my engine bay now. Shit. <laughs> so obviously I want to get this thing running so I can drive it, and then we'll see how it drives. If it's awful, I'll sell it and make some money on it. If it's not that awful, I might daily it. might debadge it so no one knows it's a Prius. Um, might do some shit to it. Maybe put it on some wheels, maybe make it less uh, feminine or I mean just less embarrassing I guess at the end of the day it's a fucking Prius there's no hiding it um, but it will let me do more race car shit with my other cars uh, it's another hopefully it'll be another working car so let me know what you guys think we should do to it I'm down to do something extreme with it it was cheap and if it can if I can get it to run cheap I'm willing to do some crazy shit with it I don't know I can just let me know what you guys think. You know what guys, I figured it out. I like camping. I don't have my own truck. I always have to use my girlfriend's truck or someone else's truck to go off-roading and shit. Let's build an off-road Prius. How many of those have you ever seen? Maybe put a little hitch on it and tow a little fucking trailer with my gear. Maybe we can put some wheels on it and a toolbox or two and make it like a, a, like a trailer to take to the track with the race car. Uh, obviously not tow the race car because the race car should be a street car. We can drive that to the track and like tow tools and wheels and all sorts of shit with it. Maybe wrap it in something ridiculous. I think I want to make the internet burn with this damn thing. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think.